Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. Oh, we're 10% of the way through. 13 world pieces. Let's go. But what were we doing the last time I played? Right, we built a house. We have to find the survivor camp. I'm also starving. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, consumables. I have a cooked meal. Eat that. I guess I gotta go cook some steaks. Add some more fuel to this fire. Let's start cooking some steaks, please. If I put some water and some mushrooms and some mushrooms, I get mushroom soup. I have no more mushrooms. I have no more water for the mushroom soup. I'll take these away. No, get it out of there. Uh, berry, berry, berry. Huckleberry bowl. Cook it. All right, so let's eat some of this. Uh, that's fine. Let's just, I guess, eat. I gotta go. Gotta go to the lake. The lake is, I think, this way. No. It's yeah, this way. Gotta get me a lot of water. I think I could. I could. I also mine this now. Nope. Scoop the water. Where's my fatigue meter? Oh, it's the Z's. Man, getting water is strenuous, huh? Does anything restore my fatigue? No, just my hunger and my thirst. Well, it's going to be a short day for me. I can make a world piece. Let's go. Um... Requires we research. Okay, let's research the new piece. And boil all this water. We, can we add stuff to a queue or do I have to like stay at this fire in order to cook it all? So now I should be able just to drink a water. Here we go. Eat a steak. Or two. And, uh... Drink some more water. So re being by the fire restores my fatigue. Okay. Cartography table. What do we need to unlock you? Rocks. Easier said, or not easier said than done, because that would imply that it's tough. Here we go. I like rocks. Why am I crouched? Okay, so now I have enough here to research the next station, or the next tile. Okay, so I have to place that down, I think, to get the next piece, right? If I... Yeah. All 
All right. So also to increase my workbench, what do I need? I need tin ore. Tin ore doesn't exist anywhere nearby. I need to make, I think I was trying to do the fletching table. I got the tannery up. Okay, I'm remembering things now. It takes me a minute or two. Right, fabric. I have to get cotton, which I don't have. And then on the workstation, tier two stuff. Tannery built. I have the table, the flint. I don't have the feathers. So if I make some feathers, I can make a fletching table. And I can get arrows and a bow. Let's go shake a tree for some feathers. Inch. One feather. Feathers, good. Also get some berries. New world piece is ready. Nothing new to place down. But let's place down... I think just regular planes. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so now we come here. Let's make our uh, fletching table. Arrows. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, let's place this down somewhere. Yeah. So I need, what do I need? I need a bowstring. How does one make a bowstring? Oh. For real, how do you, I probably threw there, I'm assuming, right? Probably make a storage. I don't have scrap parts. I don't have any of this stuff to make this. So I have to go out there and I guess create more stuff. All right. So if we're going to go out into the wild. Um, melee strength and... should also probably carry, I guess, enough materials to make a bonfire, right? Can we not make a bonfire in the wild? Okay. How do I make... I guess we'll do the main quest. Sure, fine, whatever. Or maybe we'll go to sleep. Needs night or tired. I mean, I could just go into the wilderness and, uh... Chop a bunch of trees. Or go get water. Getting water was very exhausting for some reason. Chopping a tree is less exhausting than putting water in a bottle. Which I don't understand, but... Cause I don't see anything like a rested buff like you get in other survival games. So I need to work on getting Oh World Peace is ready. Let me see the map first. We're gonna go into the forest. Get some 
money. I'll make a storage chest. Scrap parts. We don't have scrap parts. How do I make a scrap part? The Warden. Composite. So it requires a composite bow, which requires a long bow, which requires a short bow. As soon as I get this stuff, man. Oh, so that's like the range. So common, uncommon, rare, legendary kind of thing. Cool. All right, it's nighttime. Take a nap. And we'll go into the forest, I guess. Maybe after the forest, we'll make it uh, not foresty after the next tile. I gotta eat food. Uh, eat. Eat. Drink. We're good. Alright, so I have to try to find this town. How do I find a town when I'm responsible for making the map? I really think it's going to be something like... Um, it's going to be something like however many tiles away from... What are you? Oh, you're a zombie. Get away. Closer, but get away. Just one hit, nice. So looting a corpse kills my sanity. So I got bones now. Gotta be careful in the woods. Let's get mushrooms. That is an animal. I can't capture a rabbit. I had a bow and arrow, which, how do I make the string? Ah. World peace is ready. So we're going to kill the forest here. I have a deer, I have a zombie. Kind of feels like Project Zomboid a little bit. What happens if my sanity meter drops too low? Silly deer. Skin and gut. Hard antlers. Hide. Meat. I see bees here. Are there... Two beehives? I think there's two beehives. A little closer. Yep, there it is. More honey for me. I could probably make a couple of honey uh, spots back at the base now. We're back at camp. Ah. These aren't pickable. I'll make a new world piece. Um, we're just going to keep going this way. See what happens. Also does... My sanity meter recover over time? Or is it like a one and done thing? Like once it goes down, you can only restore it by either uh, sleeping slash resting or eating food that restores it. Because I think I have one food that does that. Yeah, mushroom soup fixed that. So mushrooms only grow in the forest. some more ah. I have 
have to place it down there, but I don't see it being available. Am I just... Do I have to, like, try to find where the tile would be? Is that what we're trying to do here? Far away. We were pretty far from home, dude. Did it say that a new type was able to be researched? No, because it would be it would be grayed out if that was the case. I'll just continue uh, honing my craft here with the pickaxe. It's a huckleberry tree or a bush. Um, your huckleberry. Do, 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 do. I feel like when I played this game about a year ago, I found the survivor's camp a lot easier. Sir, something here is weird. I have all the pieces down, right? Yeah. Let's just make more forest then. I feel like we'll start heading back to camp now. Sheath tool. What type of day, like what time of day this is? There they are. So we're gonna stand here and do this. Pick up these. There's something over here that I missed, obviously. I wonder if it's like I need to collect a certain um, material that I just haven't been able to do. Let me see something here. In my handcrafted area, right? I can make this stuff flint. I made this. I have flint. I made the workbench. I made... I need cotton. Where does one find the cotton? Well, I guess I can make a f an, uh, 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 an arrow, right? I can make arrows before I do everything else. So let's start shaking trees for feathers. I said let's start shaking trees for feathers. Oh, and nothing. That's the first time I think I got a nothing on that. Let's look at the map. I feel like if we do... This guy. Yeah, perfect. Alright, it's getting dark. So I need to start making my way back to camp. Uh, let's kill this dude, though. Let's take a little bit of damage first, obviously. Pick up some loot. So canned beans. Hey there, dear. I think it only takes one hit to, to like, fell a, uh, a deer. Hard antlers, meat, and hide. I feel like you get the same thing every time, no matter what. Let's go with 
this guy here. Yeah. Just branching out. Should be coming up on home soon, right? Yeah, one tile this way. Let's place some more of this. Cover that. Eat some mushroom stew. Let's make another thing here. Let's cook some mushroom soup. Steak and go to bed. <sighs> Another day in Hunter's Rest. Maybe it's the amount of days that pass. I don't know. Let's see, because I don't think I have the tools. Oh, dude, I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> hey, I can make the. <laughs> so that's how this game's gonna play it. You got it. Okay, uh, bees' nests. Let's make some more honey stuff. I'm such a dum dum. Uh, let's make two of these. So we have my little apiary over here. Hammer. Move to the side of the house. So we have one. Uh, bees' nests puts you at number three for now. I have a bunch of honey I could pull out of you. Let's go. Alright, so the next thing I have to do, obviously, is craft feathers. Not craft feathers, craft an arrow out of some feathers. Um, and then place a survivor camp down. I, If anybody's watching and screaming at the monitor, trust me, I feel the exact same way. Every time I pick up a new survival game. Especially one like this, where it has like a really neat mechanic about map building. Branch. Branch. Feather. Let's go make some arrows. Maybe that'll open up something. And then we could place down... I'm going to do that at the fletching table. Yeah, whenever I find arrows, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start, or find feathers, I'm going to start crafting that. But also, we need to go to the lake and get more water. I think I just burned all of it at the... Yeah, I burned all of it at... No, I didn't burn all of it, but... Oh. If I had a fishing pole, I'm pretty sure that that's what that means. Can I craft a fishing pole? A fishing rod? Is it? Yeah, we need to we need to fish. Survivor camp time. Do I want to have it super close to the base? Maybe I'll have it on the other side of the lake. If I was building a map of a world, I wouldn't have everything super close to my objective. That would be kind of silly. I would put it like maybe here. 
other side of the lake. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Almost tired. Ah, exploring and interacting makes you fatigued over time. Make sure to get some rest by standing by the fire or even better, getting sleep. You can craft beds in which you can sleep during the nighttime, which restores your health and fatigue. Be careful. If you don't sleep, you will suffer from sleep deprivation. All right, let's go back to base. To camp. And sit by a fire for a minute. all this dirty water. Do I have a recipe that uses the honey at all? Just honey equals that. Gives me a lot of a lot of that. Uh, I have, I have a couple of bones, don't I? I think I need ETH for something, right? Doesn't taste like much, but fills the stomach. Feel tired of eating the whole can. Oh, I'm gonna go sell a can of beans then. I should probably eat something. And drink some water. All right, so we're going to the survivor camp that was totally just on the other side of this lake. Had I known about that sooner, is this my little timer here? Or is this just the symbol with the line underneath? Or is it going to go across the whole thing? Hey, I found the survivor's camp. Hey, what's in your barrels? I don't think you need this stuff. Let me see if I can sell you your own goods. And beans. Common key used to open valuable chests. Don't mind me just walking through here, looking through all your stuff. Pocket watch. Another key. Is it like one key per chest kind of thing? Imagine if they won't buy anything now because I took all their money. Hey, friend. Sam Brown. Good day, stranger. How did you find how did you find us out here in this nirvana? Me and my brother Greg have been out here for days and we can't go home. I live just across the lake, buddy. What happened here? Well, we used to live in Corpse Creek before the night of the flames. During our escape, we lost most of our provisions. Tell me about the creek. Corpse Creek is a big town, and it was once the heart of our country. Lots of people used to live there before that night. Since those horrible things happened, Corpse Creek is almost abandoned. We used to live there before everything changed. How'd you lose your provisions? We lost most of our things in a nearby prairie when our wagon was toppled in an attack by, well, let's say one of our own. Well, let's not talk about that for now. It was not an easy moment for us. We were lucky to be alive still. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. Maybe it's too much to ask. We are afraid of going back there. You think you can get our provisions back? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. We'll be here waiting your return. Yeah, um... I promise to help Sam and Greg Brown by retrieving their lost provisions from the prairie. A uh, new world piece is researchable. Well, sorry that I just took everything that you managed to take like with you as you were fleeing for your life most likely but uh them them's the ropes buddy they don't call it the wild west for nothing uh let's go with this 
Am I standing in the right spot? I believe so. And I don't think I need more honey and beeswax. I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a farm going back at my place. I'll just shake this down. Maybe I get another feather. So the only kind of foraging that costs you, like, fatigue, or that gives you fatigue, is picking up water from the lake. I could, I could farm wood, stone, and berries, and shrubs until I'm blue in the face and it won't touch my fatigue meter. That's weird. Uh, yeah, new piece. What's this new piece? Plains Prairie. New world piece. Okay, so let's plop this down. I mean, if I was this, I would put it on the other side of the forest. Maybe like... Maybe like go here. Yeah, new world researchable piece. Let's see what we got. Well, let's make the unique piece first. And then we could do this. Two flint and a bunch of rocks. And then we need uh, four flint, which I think you could do by handcrafting. Yeah. Brimstone looks like nice and yellow, but the smell reminds you of rotten eggs. So that's sulfur, essentially. Uh, new piece. I need four flint. Okay. Also, I think I've been crafting wrong this entire time. Craft two. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay, so now we have you and we have you. I need to I need to scout enough to be able to make the prairie. Let's get some honey. It's not even honey, it's beeswax. Is beeswax a necessity in this world? Can I melt down beeswax to make honey? No. Okay. That's good to know. Workbench. Let's get more of these guys going. Let's make two. How much? What's it look like? Uh, let's do three more. Two, three, craft. Okay, down here. No, that's not how it works. Building. I could just click and do, okay, that's even easier. we go. Look at all those bees. Two, three. I guess what I should probably do is scout along the way to where I want to place the new tile down. That would make the most sense, right? I want to build it out this way. Hunger and thirst. I'm always hungry and thirsty. This is not good. 
I mean, I could eat the beans, drink the water, fix that, then go rest by the fire while I cook some more food for my trip. You lit a little bit more. Well, I think it's a waste, but who knows. Uh, one, two, three. If I take that away and do that, it's water. Hmm. No. If I do you. You know what? Let's do that. Two of them. And then a bunch of you. Okay. Let us explore our way to the prairie. Buckleberries are collected. I feel like I'm going to need flint, so I need more. So this stuff might not take fatigue, or give you fatigue, but it definitely increases your hunger and your thirst when you're chopping down trees and mining rocks. Feathers. We need feathers. Feathers, please. Thank you. I feel like now we put down the lost provisions. Here. Here. That feels good to me. Far enough away to be like, yeah, that makes sense to me. I mean, I probably could just literally place everything right next to the tile that they're supposed to be at. Or like, hey, we can't find our provisions. Where are they? They're drop it right next to them. But then I feel like that's not that's not a realistic map. Maybe I'll put Corpse Creek right next to them. They fled Corpse Creek, somehow their provisions got all the way over there. Got two zombos. You feel like a spitter. Nope, you're a slasher. Loot. Rotten tooth. I want to make a rotten tooth necklace. Come here. Got him. Yeah. Loot. There goes my sanity a little bit. And is this the way? No, this tile. More honey. Pieces ready. Let's. Yeah. Oh, we got that piece there. That's right. You get new pieces of the, 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 the new biome when you put the freshly researched pieces down. I suppose I could probably hold off on placing them all real quick. I think I need to step on the gas a little bit because it's going to get to be nighttime soon and I have nothing to protect me. But it's already noonish. Wild mint. I'll take some of that. Cotton plant. Okay. Now that is so far away from the base. Rope. Okay, vanilla. Oh my, there's so much stuff here. So now I can make a bow. So 
So this is the hemp to make the rope. This is the vanilla to, I guess, flavor food. And which was the cotton? Was it this one? Oh, it's wild mint. Which was the cotton plant? Is it this one? It's this. Hemp. I wasn't paying attention to what... That's it right there, this little guy. Mint. Cotton. It's like all of this barely touches your fatigue. Carrot, okay. I got all my teeth. Uh oh. The thing must have died when the wagon top up, but what tore his head off? Um, the guy that I probably just annihilated? Rocks. These are the provisions, I should return them. How? I'm trying to return them. So the green dude is the guy who's going to throw stuff at me. Good to know that that's the defining characteristic. Bones. Cotton. So here's where all the cotton is. Feathers. Should probably not venture too far away. Get the cotton for the fabric. We're going to be in trouble. I think I made the game a little harder than it needed to be. Well, if I were to place... Planes, planes... Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to, to head home. Maybe we just gotta go straight down this tile. Quickly, before the night it comes. But you actually run pretty fast. I've been doing everything with walking. Hey, we're home. Just in time. Because that, that zombo just appeared. Sleep with the door open. It's cool. Rest. <sighs> Woo! All right, let's see what we can do with this table here. Nothing. <laughs> That's right, it's the, uh, the fletching table. Uh, bowstring. I don't know how to make a bowstring until now I do. Plant fibers and hemp. So let's make a bowstring. And also, there we go. All right, now we're starting to get more stuff. Uh, not here. Wait, kind of here. I wanted to make tier two. Kind of want to make a rug. Craft it. Look at all this stuff. Look at that. What well, I needed tin ore to upgrade this. Um, everything else here, I need scrap parts, which we don't have any of. All right, so go to the fletching table. I thought I made a bowstring. Did I not? Or 
did that actually require a... No. To hide into fabric. Did I not make a bowstring? There's a bowstring. That's rope. I made rope. You fool. Oh, I can make a fishing rod now? Ooh. Enhanced pickaxe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, pickaxe, hard antler, beeswax. Yes. I need another rope. Uh, yes. So now I have enhanced versions of this stuff. Where did my pickaxe go? Number one. So I have now enhanced, enhanced. I only have five. I need one more rotten tooth. But I had enough. All right, so that's it from the handcrafted spot. Make another rope so I can go fishing. Handcrafted. You. Perfect. Uh, sawmill we don't have. Was I not supposed to break down the sawmill? I could have swore I got something for bowstring. We make bowstring, dude. But this is three. I also need to make more. I need to make an enhanced robe, which just requires fabric. Which is I need two more, so that's I need three, at least three more cotton. I go back to the prairie. I see the daytime shifting. Now it's like noon. Oh, I'm going to die of thirst in a moment. Um, and then I have this guy. Restore my sanity. Everything's back to normal. We're good. We're good. Oh, I forgot to research. Air, uh, craft a fishing rod. That took a little bit there, Steam. You doing okay today? You doing okay today? Uh, cartography table. There was two this here. Okay, so we have all of the forest pieces. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can make all of the planes now. We can flesh out the planes and possibly bring it closer. I don't... I did it terribly. Maybe I'll put it here. I could also undo this. Or I can make another planes patch here. Or. I don't know. We'll figure that out when it comes. But we got to go to. The brothers. I kind of want to see what this is like fishing here. Hold on. I'll just hold the button. Okay. Scrap parts? Is that how you get scrap parts? You fish for them? Odd. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Catfish and parts. Now I have the enhanced pickaxe, so I could probably mine the tin, which is on the edge of the water. So, like, the more coast you have, the better. It seems like there's always one tin on an edge of... No, not scoop the water. Not scoop the water. We want to... 
do this. So a bunch of tin now. I should respawn in a little bit. How you doing there, Sam? Thank heavens, this could be a this should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. I hope we can go home to Corpse Creek someday. We own the trading post out there, but I can't imagine what state it's in right now. Oh, so there's a trading post in Corpse Creek. Hmm. Greg Brown, thank you for retrieving them provisions. They're a real lifesaver after what happened to us in that prairie. No problem. I'm trying to help uh, after everything that happened to the poor people of my old hometown. God, I miss her. Sorry, I'm drifting away. Uh, who? Maybe best not to dwell in the sadness on events in the past. Anyway, we were able to bring our tents, but they all got ripped up, you see. Would you do us a favor? We need to patch them holes in the tents. You guys can't do anything for yourself. Uh, of course I could help you. How do we fix them? Great. Would you happen to have any spare fabric for us? If you don't have any fabric, maybe you can find some cotton to make some. Well... I've already kind of done that. My God, finally we could sleep at night without it. Did I just give you the one piece of fabric I had? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, my God, finally I not sleep without rain or wind on my face. Thank you, young savior. Here, you earned a little something. This is the one only Brown's Miracle Tonic patent is pending. It makes just about all health problems you might have. Uh, just don't drink too much of it. Can I be anything else for you? Well, you did so much already, but... Did my brother Sam tell you how we got in this mess? Our mother Tara was with us during the escape, but suddenly she started acting all odd and such. Then she jumped at us, crashing the wagon. Well, will you keep a lookout for her? Her name is Miss Tara Brown. I may have killed her. Sure, I'll keep a lookout for your mom. Thanks very much. Hope she's alright. Um, I regret to inform you that I might be making a necklace out of her teeth. Fishing rod time. Salmon. So we got catfish and salmon from here. Nice. So it looks like catfish, salmon. Like catfish are on the shore, salmon are on the deeper piece. Go fishing. Bluegill. What do you And a bass? I should do the last of the fishing here. There has to be a better way to get um, scrap than fishing. Research Lumberjack Cabin. Let's not uh, place anything down just yet. What do I have on me? I have a bunch of stuff to make for food, possibly. Let's see, we have... Carrot soup. Cook it. Carrot soup discovered. What's this? This is... What is that? This is mint. Probably put mint on a steak or something. Or do... here on cotton. Okay, so we gotta go back out there. So I will place another piece around here. Um, if I were to... 
Yeah, see, I messed up with this piece. I mean, I could put the planes here, too. Or... Go... No, I'm not going to do that. How would it make the most sense? This is the plane biome, basically. There. Plonk. Get some sleep. <sighs> oh, tired, tired. All right, so we're going to get cotton like crazy. So I need... One more cotton piece to research that. And then to make... I gotta start like research. I gotta start building uh, storage spots actually. Storage chest. Please and thank you. Open storage. Let's put... Oh, I could upgrade my workbench now, right? Yeah. Workbench tier three. What do we got? We have a furnace, an anvil, a furnace for processing metal into ingots, railing, shelf, bottle torch, a torch, a stove. And a piano. So let's make... Well, first, if I'm going to start doing all that stuff, I probably need to expand the base again. Let's do that. Uh, three. I'm stuck in my ways of, like, Valheim. All right, so then we have to... Now we go hammer. We want to tear down, we want to move this to there. And then I th think I still have walls. I'm going to make one more wall. Two of these, one of you. Right. So now I have to put down a wall and then that, and then you here. So now I have everything good and good to go. Good to go. Let's move this back and let's start making a tier three. Let's make a furnace. Well, that's, that's, that's pretty large. How about this? We'll move our bed. the pillow side that way yeah put you there chest at our feet that makes sense usually i wish i had like a snapping to grid option all right so that's the chest and then we're gonna put our stove how about we move you two Put the stove over here. But what do you do? What do we make here? Furnace. It's not stove, it's a furnace. A pane of glass could be used for crafting. 
I guess we'll make one of... I have no more tin ore? Oh, it's in the... Oh, there's no craft from storage. Transfer all of the stacks. Right. So, furnace. I do like that I can just say, give me two. It's, ooh. Okay, so for you, I need three tin ingots. Which means I have to make more of the lake. I'm also starving. Hunger, I'm thirsty. Hunger, and then mushroom soup. That's good there. Um, got the fish. Oh, some of them are worth money. Salmon gets you the most meat and oil. Okay, so now I guess with having this fish meat, I don't have any, I don't have any wood. Huh. I know I have wood back at the base. Did I just destroy a huckleberry bush? I did. Made a boo boo. Also, let's search for feathers. Ranch. Ranch. I want to switch these two around, by the way. Hold on. Resources? No. Equipment. You're going to be one, you're going to be two. Thank you. Two lake pieces, right? We could make it like an oblong kind of lake. I would have all this fish. Cook. New recipe. Grilled fish. If I put Fish, mushrooms, no. Fish, mint, honey, no. Fish, honey, honey, no. Honey, fish, fish, no. Honey, that, her. What is this thing, anyway? But I don't. Vanilla. Right. Catfish. Catfish and salmon net you the most fish meat, which is nice. Hunger and, and health. Okay. Consult the recipe book. Meat, mushrooms, and so what's this? Beans. It's a three word thing, and then that's grain. I wonder if I put hemp into there. I can't put hemp into there. Everything that's going to be able to be cooked is going to show up here. 
So no, I don't have... Wait, what? Fertilizer. Restores sanity. I can cook sanity food? Okay. Very good to know. Let's see about making some more arrows real quick. That's at the other guy. Shelter. How do I increase my shelter? Oh, this stuff increases my shelter level. Resources, consumables, miscellaneous. Oh, I have all the. I have fish bones. In cancer, the beans I ate. Bone meal is mighty fine. Fertilizer for growing plants. Okay. I really want to see about. So I have to make this, essentially. Alright. Take a nap. <sighs> oh, wow. Alright, let's save here. And call it for uh, this episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. Uh, if you like the video, drop a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, ring the notification bell. You get alerted when I post more content here on YouTube and when I do live streams. Uh, leave comments, share the videos, share the channel. Those are the best ways to support what I'm doing, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.